Hi guys, how's it going? I am the Conflict Nerd. Hello and welcome to Sim City. Welcome back to Tapir Valley. Welcome to the end. This is episode 50. I did say around episode 40, 41, that episode 50 would be the end and it is going to be the end. This is the last time I'm going to be delivering that intro, at least for this year, if there happens to be another expansion for this game, which I doubt there's going to be. There's been no interest in it by the looks of it. So, you know, if they have another expansion, I will come back to it. To be fair, I did start playing this expansion uh, several months after it came out, so don't expect anything from SimCity again if there's a new expansion for at least, like, three years. I'm joking. I... You know what I'm trying to say. I might come back to it, but let's not focus about that. Let's not focus on that, rather. Let's, uh, focus on what we're doing today, which is working on the city. I want to get up to 150,000 people. I want to finish this mega tower, and I want to see if I can maybe get us into the green. I'm curious. I feel like, I, I mean, I could do it. I could easily do it. Up the taxes. Yeah, up the taxes across the board. And, you know, we're nearly in the green. But they won't like that. They they really won't like that. So, I'm not going to do that. Because that's... That's too easy, I suppose. That That is that is too easy. It takes the challenge out of everything. So, I think the first thing we will do is see what these guys want. What's up with the mole level? You need more shoppers to make a profit. Okay, so that would imply that you need one of these. So we'll add in one of those, and uh, that'll hopefully get you more shoppers and make you a profit. That might start making me a little bit of money too. Now this Mega Tire, we're obviously not going to be doing anything with it. There's nothing I can do to upgrade it at this point. Let's just have a look and see if anything needs demolished. No, it doesn't. We're at 131,000 people. We have another 19,000 to go. I should say 150,000 is a rough goal. I'm not going to be going, you know, if it takes me two hours to get there, I'm not having a two hour video because the upload, the render time on that would be a nightmare, the upload time on that would be a nightmare, and generally speaking, no one would watch it. I can't imagine anyone would want to watch two hours of me in one sitting. Oof, that'd be terrible. Anyway, let's have a little look around here. You guys are all, yeah, you're thinking of expanding, you're thinking about it. You guys are all sort of close to it. I'm not quite sure why you're not expanding, though. Not quite sure at all. How's this going? It's taking its sweet time. What's up with this? What... What was the matter? Apparently there was something wrong with one of these two, and I don't know which one. Was one of them full? Probably. There's a nine-month supply under you and a nine-month supply under you. All right, then. Well, fortunately, we don't have to worry about that running out, because we're not going to be here in nine months. Not at all. Uh, let's see. What could we have a look at? We'll have a look at you. You do have a lot of stuff in there. You have stuff needing exported. I think these guys are actually coming to collect it. Yeah, there we go. There's a bit of money. I'm tempted to build a processor factory. Because the processors sell for a lot and use alloy and plastics to do the exporting. So I'm, I'm tempted. I mean, we could do it. And it would make us a lot of money, is the thing. It would make us a hell of a lot of money. But it's not the cheapest, is my thought. I feel like there's probably the best place for it, isn't it? You know what? You know what? Let's do it. Let's have a gamble. Let's build a processor factory. And we're, we're gonna do it. We're gonna export processors. That's gonna be our thing. So let's pop over to this guy. And have a look. We need. What can we get rid of? We've got alloy. We've got plastic and plastic. So we've got... Hmm. Right. What do we want to focus on? I suppose alloy makes us... Uh, I don't know. I don't know. This is risky, actually. Let's see. Let's see if we can make some processors just by default. Does it... I mean... We'll, we'll find out. Will this just get alloys and plastics? Or is it going to have some trouble? I mean, this is a sign. It can go there. This is one of the garages. What do you do? You will deliver the stuff to trade depots and ports. Okay, so I want plenty of you. 
I want to be delivering as much of this as I possibly can. This is the processor assembly line. I will not get one of those because I don't need it. Now the question is, are you actually going to collect stuff? That is my question. Are, are you going to be collecting anything? I guess this doesn't have anywhere to uh, any of the trucks that deliver about the city. So let's get some of those. There we go. Now, are you going to work? Are you going to work, or is it just going to export everything and, and not give any to you? Oh, there we go. It, it's making processors. Look at that. Look at that. It's making processors. So it's not ex we're not exporting as much, but we are making processors. That is fantastic news. We need another trade depot, though. Uh, and I want to stick it nearby, if at all possible. Uh, somewhere very close by. Or over there, maybe. Somewhere around here. Can I can I get the trade depot? Right there. Ha! <laughs> that could work. I guess there works, doesn't it? No, that'll that'll cause some issues. That's a lot. There's a lot of traffic in there. Do we need the dump? I feel like we don't need the dump. Or at least I feel like we don't need it there. I feel like I could go somewhere else. Could I fit a trade depot in there? Probably. Let's, let's get rid of the dump, and let's go ahead and get a trade depot. Let's stick it there. That's perfect. That's perfect. That's what I want. Nice trade depot. Right at the entrance to the city. Goodbye to that. Uh, let's expand upon it a little bit. I want some processor uh, storage lots. We'll only need two of them. And I'm thinking I could probably fit the dump down here if I was clever. Um, although, I don't necessarily think we need it. Garbage dump can actually fit right there. That's perfect. That'll do. There we go. The dump can go right there. There's where all of our processors are going to go. This is good. This is exactly what we need. We have 150 crates of processors. This guy will... Yeah, export per thousand. 100,000 per thousand processors. We currently have 150. I think we've got a good way to make money here. I do feel like another assembly uh, assembly line might be necessary, though. Let's just see if we can grab one of those. Uh, we'll stick it there. It costs a fair bit, but that'll hopefully speed things up a bit. And yeah, that'll do something or other. I think this'll do. This this seems like a good way to make money. If we don't get in the green, at least this'll make us over 100,000 per thousand processors. So that's a start. That is That is certainly a start. I do sort of wish I had the recycling center on this side, though. Or the processor factory on this side. That would have been a much better thing to do, but it looks like this is going to be our only option. We should probably just sort this guy out as well. Now that I think about it, we are going to be wanting some of these about the place just to collect all of the garbage in the city. Uh, do we need another dump? Not really. I think we'll be fine like that. Alright, how's this going? 600? Yeah, we'll get a good delivery soon, I imagine. We'll deliver the processors, we'll get them shipped out. Yeah, that's that's actually looking pretty good. I'm quite quite excited about this. Quite happy about this, that we've got the uh, the processor factory up and running. All of this is looking pretty good. It's not looking as modern as I would have liked, but this area is looking pretty good, I suppose. It'll all upgrade at some point. You are considering it, you're getting there. This area is looking pretty good, although traffic is held up. I've just noticed it is 1.30 a.m. And a lot of the recycling trucks are still out there. They're still out there. They're still stuck in traffic. That's how bad things are. They leave first thing in the morning. They never go home. They live in the truck. That's, that's the way it works here. Oh, you've delivered something. Is it at the factory? Let's see. I want to see these processors. I want to see them arrive here. Because they bloody shoot... Well, actually, you know what? They're going to take a really long time to get here, aren't they? That's going to be something. It's going to take an absolute age for the processors to get here from that factory. Based on that traffic. Uh, let's have a quick look and see if I can spot the truck. Yeah, it's... It's just left. It's going to be a while. Holy crap. Go on, buddy. There you go. Alright, a thousand processors. We've already got 700 back there. Uh, let's see. I want to see these get shipped out now. 
I really want to see these get shipped out. There we go. Oh, look at that. There we go. There we go. Are you ill? Yeah, you've got a bit of sickness in there. All right, can we get... And look, can we get another up to another thousand, or are we going to run out of uh, alloy and plastic? Oh, hold on. Another thousand? Yeah, there we go. All right. You guys need alloy and plastic now. Go get some, then. There should be some over here, right? Oh, no, there isn't. Oh, these guys are taking their sweet time, then. That's all right, though. We are making plenty, I suppose. What's up with you? Out of res Wait, what? Who's out of resources? You oh, you. That's all right. I was worried. I thought someone had run out of something else. Unsatisfied apartment residents. What's wrong with you? No work, so you're moving out. You're costing me money by doing that. You're costing me a lot of money by doing that. I don't like that. I, I, I don't like that you're considering leaving, because that's sort of screwing me over a little bit. That, that is costing me a lot of money by you guys not living there. I could go turn the entire fucking mega tire off and send however many thousand people out onto the streets. But I'm not going to, because I'm not that much of a bastard. Well, I say that. I can be. Anyway, whatever the case, we have... Oh, that's a lot of freight. Holy shit. That is a lot of freight. Where did those thousand processors go? Have they not even been delivered yet? What the hell is he doing up there? What are you, what are you doing up there for? I don't even know. It's a lot of traffic, though. He's probably going to be a while. Let's have a look at the... These guys. Yeah, they're going to be a while as well. You know... I don't know that I'm going to get any of my challenges done, which is kind of annoying me, but I suppose that's the way things are. Generation 5 solar power crime. We don't need it. Advertising, that'll boost mall and office level profits. I don't know. Nice big park. Let's just go solar. Yeah. That looks kind of cool. Nice big solar power crime there. Should, uh... Mean that we never have to worry about pyre again, even though we already don't have to worry about pyre. But uh, yeah, that's fine. It's all clean energy. That's the thing. You know, we, we've got clean energy here. We've got clean energy there. We've got clean energy down here. You know what? This is good. This is good. We might be polluting like crazy over here, but well, we have clean pyre. So that's nice. That's that's exactly what I want. It just cost us a hell of a lot to do it. Now, where's this truck? Is he he's still up there? Oh my god. Is traffic that bad? Is it seriously that bad? Because that's fucking crazy. That is insane. We're going to just have to link this up again. It's probably the quickest way to do things. So let's just get that done. Let's link that. Let's grab this and bring a fucking junction down, man. That's... Pretty much all we can do. There we go. We'll hopefully see some traffic moving now. Hopefully. Where's the truck? Oh, he's turned around. He's making a break for it. Look, he's gone. He's had enough. There we go. There's some There's some processors, I suppose. We'll get those exported at some point. Is the truck on its way? Is the truck on its way? Oh, no. There he comes. All right. That'll be a bit more money. And where are we losing all of this? Those mega tires are costing us a hell of a lot. Why are they costing us so much? And does that rotate? No way, does that rotate? I want to watch this for a second and see if that that bit there rotates, because I think it does. Is it? I can't tell. But I could swear it was facing the other way. A minute, when we, when we start... Yeah, it does! Look at that! Oh, that's really cool. I love that. I really like that. That's incredibly cool. That's the coolest thing. All right. We are losing shed loads of money. Where's all that going? I am tempted to up the taxes because this is a serious amount to be losing. Now, let's see. You guys are... You guys really aren't happy. There's no one living there. Can I just turn it off then? Yeah, let's just keep you turned off. I might as well. No point in losing that money. Okay, then. Let's see. Are you delivering... What are you delivering plastic to? That guy? 
the, the, the trade depot. I suppose that works. Let's see, can this be upgraded yet? Uh, no. This still cannot be upgraded. This university is just, it maxes out around 1,700 people, and that's just not good enough. I want more than that. 1,709. Oh, it's, it is climbing quite nicely there, actually. Can we get 1,800? No, yeah, sorta. I don't think we're gonna get the fabled 2,000, but sure. Also, I should point out, we got the solar array. Never gonna use it. Probably, but, uh, we have it. School of Engineering. Could research that. Uh, anything else we can research? I don't think so. No, there's there's nothing else we can research. We don't have the money to really research anything anyway. Any buildings needing torn down? Nope, that's good. That is one thing I will say about this city. There's very few things actually needing torn down, which is, it's a change. I'm usually tearing everything down. Also, I can't help but notice that uh, we have dropped a lot of people from the city. That's not good. I mean, this guy is... This is doing alright. It's just that apartment level 3 is giving me trouble. If I turn it back on... Yeah, they've got no work, so they're moving out. They're just costing me money. No one's moving in. There's 6 out of 1,200 people living there. And I don't quite understand why. What's the issue? Just go work somewhere. I guess that's not going to be a thing. Let's just keep it turned off then. There's no point having it on. I mean, there's a hell of a lot of other things I could turn off that aren't doing me any good, but... Well, I kind of like having them on. Like this Megatire, for example. I could turn it off. I would save a lot of money turning this off. It's currently costing me... Yeah. 20... Th fucking hell. I'm losing money on that. I'm actually... Yeah, I'm losing money. Why am I losing money on you? I mean, I'm not losing a lot, but I'm certainly losing money. I am making a profit overall, but... I could just turn that Mega Tower off and make money. Same with this one. Wait. Yeah! They're both working at a loss. I think need more workers. You guys are no work, so you're moving out. Why does this happen? Why does this happen to the Megatars? This is every Megatar I build winds up going the same way. They all they all do the thing about it. All the Megatars in the past, they all work fine for a bit. And then suddenly, they just stop. You know, the apartment levels are complaining about one thing or other. You guys are all leaving because you don't have work. You do have work. Go upstairs. Just go upstairs. This is costing me so much. This is costing me so much. I need to turn it off. I need to turn that off as well. And that's probably just sent a lot of people homeless. Hasn't it? How do you check? It's parks, isn't it? What are the homeless people? How do you see who's homeless? I don't remember this. No, I don't even I don't even care. I don't even care at this point. I just I I I don't know. I genuinely, I am at a loss. This happens to every Megatire. We've had to turn off apartment levels 2 and 3. And the chances are we'll have to turn off one of the other ones as well. Because they'll get pissed off and they'll want jobs. Even though there are jobs everywhere. They want industry. They want everything. This is what I've never got about this game. I've never understood why... I mean, you get to this point. Okay, you get to the point we've got a hundred something thousand people and they still want more zoning, even though, I mean, there's literally nowhere I could zone here. I could zone along these avenues, but that's going to cause problems. I could zone in here, but that's going to cause problems. Oh, it's just a nightmare. It really is. One change I do want to make, actually, is I want to dezone just here. And I want to demolish those buildings and put some residential zoning just there, just to uh, change things up a little bit. Maybe make people a little bit happier and just see if we can change the face of the place a little bit. There we go. Get some big buildings in there, not these little small... What are you... D Seriously? You're not seriously going to build... There you go. Now you could probably be something a bit bigger. Come on. 
Don't be building a tiny little small house here, because it's going to look really out of place. You're going to build a tiny little small house, aren't you? For God's sake. Whatever, that's fine. That's a bit more residential zoning. Now, here's something I want to check out. Is the Mega Tower pissed off? Not at the minute. Is this one pissed off? Not at the minute. That's okay. Why are we losing so much, then? The Mega Towers are working at a loss right now. The specialization is... What is the specialization? What? What? What is our... Is it these, I suppose, are working at a loss? Yeah, I suppose so. I suppose they're working at a loss, technically. They don't make anything themselves. Alright then. Let's, uh, let's get these guys built. Let's get these new buildings up so I can... I sort of want to rezone this entire area. And just make it a bit more... I, I suppose go for more residential, because that's the big demand right now. No one wants commercial zoning, so... I guess residential would be something to go for. Yeah, you know what? Let's let's give it a shot. Let's dezone this. Let's demolish you. And let's zone some residential just there. And we'll see what happens, I suppose. In fact, dezone you. And do you hold on. Are you gonna turn into something? Nope. Dezone you. And then zone there. Alright. So that's a bit of zoning. That's going to be another big building. That'll hopefully make people a bit happier. Is, is, is this going to go big? I don't think it is. Doesn't look like it anyway. That's alright. Now what's the problem with you? Building fire? That's okay. Okay, okay. We're working this out. We're losing so much. I mean, we're really losing so much money. But... I am sort of okay with it because we are making so much from all of our exports. What the hell? Embezzlement? Alright then, that's something different. That's fine, I suppose. Let's see. I think we should just rezone this area, to be honest. I think give this a big facelift. And maybe zone here. There we go. And here, why not? Alright, there's a building going in. Uh, zone... I honestly, I honestly don't know. Because so much of this... I mean, these are such big buildings here, but there's no demand for them. And that's the thing, that there's no demand for this. They don't want commercial zoning anymore. Is that because we have enough? I mean, the thing is... No one's demanding a job. Oh, sorry, no one's demanding workers. And it doesn't seem like anyone's necessarily demanding jobs, either. They just want more housing, and I can't really provide it. And that's kind of annoying me. There's nowhere I can put housing that's gonna actually work and not screw up traffic even more. And I can't say I necessarily want to go ahead and screw up traffic, because it's already pretty friggin' bad. So I've got no real options here. I really, I really don't have any, any good decision. There is no right answer to this situation. Because we're losing, I mean, we're losing so much, but the money, the money isn't an issue. I come back to the money because it's something to focus on, but I guess the money isn't an issue. The zoning is. The commercial demand is dropping. So... I think I can get rid of some commercial then. You know what? I'm actually going to completely demolish. Let me completely dezone this area, and this area, and this area. And pause, and completely demolish all of that. Alright, speed things up a little bit. Now that's going to cost us. That is really going to cost us, but that's okay. Alright. It hasn't actually cost us that much, at all. Which is interesting. Certainly interesting. Alright, and what I want to do... Is... Just... Get... One of... These. Okay. And I want to put... One there, as well. 
and put one, get rid of this one, and see if I can get another one on that side. Can I get one opposite? I think I can actually, hold on. Actually, you know what I can do? Get the same park and stick one just there. So that nicely bridges that gap. That is a perfect size. That is what I want to do. So if I do this, all right, and then get rid of these. Okay, and I want to do the same just up here. And then start zoning just down here. Alright, so that'll work. That gives us plenty of room for these parks that I'm going to have to put in here. So we'll go with a nice plaza. Okay. And I'll go with this as well. No, that's way too big. Holy crap. Amphitheater? Eh... Uh, Amphitheater. There we go. Alright, so that area is gonna grow quite quickly, I imagine. I I hope. It has got a nice big building there. I suppose it's yeah, there we go. It's developing, the whole area is redeveloping, it's costing us a lot, but that's okay. There we go. Oh my god, there's actually a hell of a lot of redevelopment going on there. This might have been a good move. This, this might have actually been a really good move, because that's a lot of redevelopment, and those are going to be some big buildings just there. You know, apart from that fire in the background, this area is looking pretty good, actually. We are losing money, that is obviously a thing, but I am really happy with how this area is looking. It's... it's pretty good. It is pretty good. We've also got lots of money, this is the thing. We we are making bucket loads off of all of the exports, and I'm actually kind of okay with that. I mean, we don't have as many people living here as we once had, but I'm sure that'll pick up once, uh, once all of these places get finished, which they are working towards, which is kind of nice. I mean, you guys are, yeah, currently under construction there. Yeah, I mean, the population is fluctuating, but I am okay with that. I am fine with the population sort of being all over the place at the moment, just because that's sort of the way things go when you're redeveloping an entire bloody city. So, I think we'll be alright. I, I have a feeling that the worst might be behind us in terms of uh, zoning. No, no it's not. They still really want residential zoning. Alright then, they can't have it. Simple as that. They, they cannot have it. We really need to address this money. The Mega Sires are not making us much. So, you guys aren't happy. I'm going to turn this on and see if people maybe move in, uh, which they don't seem to be doing. Let's turn you on as well. I was right, though. Look at this. Bottom floor. They're all moving out. You guys are all... Oh, God. That's not what I wanted. Uh, you guys are doing the same. Need more shops soon or we'll leave. Whatever. Leave then. See if I fucking care. There's nothing I can really do, except maybe dezone this road here and put some shops in. I guess we might as well try. Uh, let's do just that. Dezone. And shops. There we go. Alright. Let's see if we can get some shops to move in there then. That might keep them happy. I mean, it's just a couple of shops outside of the tire, but I mean, it's better than nothing, right? They might, it might cheer them up a little bit, might make them a little bit happier, stop them being miserable bastards. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. There's almost 4,000 people using the maglev. That's a really small number of people, although there is a zero minute wait, which is kind of cool, but uh, yeah, that's very few people using the maglev system there. That's not good enough. I was hoping for so much more than that. Anyway, are you, have you guys cheered up a little bit? You have some shops now. No, you're all just leaving. Why? Why would you... I don't get it. It's like, oh, we need shops or we'll leave. Well, go to town. Look at this place. There's loads of residential down here, of commercial here and here and here and there and across the road from you. What's the problem? I, I fail to see an issue here. 
I just, I don't see it. I think they're just making a fuss for nothing. Wouldn't be the bloody first time. Let's see, can I get some commercial zoning here? Is anyone going to move in there? I doubt it. Uh, I could get a little bit there. Anyone going to move in there? I, again, doubt it. Could get some over there. Uh, could put some there, but it won't do anything. I mean, I, I could put commercial zoning about the place, but... Not really anywhere where it's going to develop. That's the thing. I mean... They've got some shops here. Are they happy? No. Not at all. Increase satisfaction to attract residents. How? How do you propose I do that? I guess a mall level would have probably been a really good idea in there, wouldn't it? I suppose I do have the money to tear down parts of the Megatar, though, so... Yeah, why the fuck not? Can I demolish sections of the tower? Is that an option? Can I demolish you, for example? Is it gonna let me do that? It is! Okay, right. So what I want to do is get rid of that, the offices, and the apartment. Goodbye. That's a start. Goodbye. And... Wait a minute. Goodbye. And goodbye. Alright, so what I want to do is put in some... Medium wealth apartments. No, you know what? Mall's to it. Mall level. We'll put mall level in. Then we'll put medium wealth apartments. Wait, can we do that? Yeah. Mall level, medium wealth apartments, office, solar power. That's going to be how this works. We need to redevelop this bloody thing here. And get get people happy. That's sort of the goal here. Also, lots of skyscrapers going up around here. Also, fire. Apparently, are the fire department there? Uh, No, they're over here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, this guy's house is burning down. Uh, never mind the building that just collapsed behind us. Oh, wow. That's that's certainly something. All right. Anyway, how goes this? Is it 60% uh, of the way done? Will that cheer these bastards up? Probably not. Leaving this town full of death. No, it's not. There's only two deaths per day. That's, there's only two... There's also 91 sick, pe sick people. Oh. Well, sure, that that's... That's, a, that's what you're going to find in a city like this. Now, let's see. Are you going to... Are people going to go shopping there? You ha There is a shop. There is a mall in your mega If you're going to complain, fuck off. Uh, let's see. Do I, want, do I want an office level now? Yeah, you know what? We'll put it in a different order. Make it look a bit silly. No, I don't need to know what great works. Get lost. All right, are these guys any happier? No. Increase the satisfaction to attract residents. I'm trying. I am desperately trying. This is not making any form of profit. Oh, for God's sake. I don't even know. I give up with the Megatar. I really do. There's no point. There is just no point. I do think I should add another clinic, though. Or a hospital. I don't really want to add a hospital. It'll cost way too much, and I won't be able to afford it. Uh, a clinic, on the other hand, I probably can't afford. So, uh, let's go ahead and stick one there, I guess. All right. Let's get some patient waiting room things. Like so. Can I get another one? I can put it there. And some ambulances as well, just to, uh, just so we can go get everyone. We'll stick a sign there. Alright, so that should hopefully give us more coverage. In fact, that has given us a hell of a lot more coverage. That's pretty good. That is exactly what we need to be seeing. We'll hopefully see the uh, healthcare thing get a bit better. How's this? Still awful. Those three bottom levels are pretty much abandoned. Uh, the mall level needs more shoppers. The office level needs more workers. Hey, yeah, yeah. Okay, we're going to add another apartment level. No, we're not. That's a terrible idea. We're going to add another apartment level. <laughs> Oh boy, do I want this? Yeah. We're gonna go with the apartment level. It'll hopefully work out. Hopefully do something, we'll see. Let's see, what's up with the water? We have a deficit, do we? Okay. Uh, let's see, I could stick this just here. That'll sort out the water a little bit. Alright. We're down to 88,000 people. 
I assume that's a lot to do with the fact that uh, the whole uh, mega tower over there is sort of abandoned. Probably doesn't help. This guy's fine. That mega tower is fine. This one, not so much. People are not happy. Oh, hold on a minute. I think they're moving back in. Are they moving? They are. Oh, they're moving back in. Oh, this is fantastic news. The population inside of the mega tower is, oh god, sort of climbing. They have injuries and need an ambulance, but it is slightly climbing. It's sort of here as well. This might actually turn into a success story. This could be interesting. They're telling all of their friends to move in. I guess that's good, but it doesn't seem to be working. You guys are okay as well. You're not really... No one else is coming. No, no, wait, there is some growth. This one's just not... Not happening. They're not happy here at all. Also, I'm hearing... Oh! That's what I was hearing. How did I not spot this? This blazing inferno, which appears to have... One, two, three, four, five fire trucks going to... Oh, this guy's on fire too. Might want to go sort him out. Oh god, holy crap. Uh, traffic really needs to move. The buildings are sort of collapsing. Oh no, there you go. Oh yeah, sort out that guy. There goes that building. You're missing the turn, guys. You've completely missed the bloody turn there. At least you're putting that one on, I suppose. Let's go ahead and demolish this, this, and this. And I might as well... Oh no, he's developing now. His caravan burnt down, so he's decided, fuck it, I might as well build a home. I guess that's great. I suppose that does something. This Megasaur is slowly turning into a bit of a success story, I suppose. Let's see. Tourism? New. Do not want tourism. A... I want to get a park. Yeah. Let's add a park up there. We don't really need the uh, solar power, so I might as well go for a park. I suppose that'll work. Interesting point to note, the park does actually give a bit of a uh, bonus to the apartments. It makes them a bit happier. So I guess that's good news. These guys are not overworked. Uh, you wanted work and now you're overworked. Make up your fucking mind. Jesus Christ. Also, comfortably over a million simoleons right there. I am very much okay with that. I think I'm going to call this a success if I can get us back up over 100,000 people. If I can get us back up over 100,000 people in this city, I'm willing to call it a success because I have a funny feeling that 150,000 is maybe a little bit out of our reach right now. So 100,000 people, that seems achievable. That seems reasonable. It seems like something we could do. So, I suppose we need to start zoning things. I guess that would be a good idea. Now, where do we zone is the question. Also, why are you there? Can I actually get rid of that bit of zoning? I don't want it there. Just completely get rid of that so we can get some houses here. That seems like a much better idea. Getting some residential zoning just here as opposed to one building on the avenue. There we go. Oh, 95,000. This is going a little bit quicker than I thought it would. I will say it's nice to see these places sort of growing again. A little bit annoyed that these guys are saying, this tower's great, even though there's only six of them. I suppose it would be great if you had all of that free space. You effectively have an entire apartment building to yourself there. But sure, it's great. We really are having some issues with water. It just doesn't stay consistently up there, which isn't great, but I think we'll be okay. Fire service is very slow. I suppose that's because they have to come from the one point down there. So I suppose I should probably get another uh, place for them to, dis to dispatch from. I think there's good, actually. I think that's probably a really good place for it. Let's go ahead and stick a load of these along here. And we'll put one just uh, there, I suppose. And then stick a bell on there, put a sign on there, and put a flag just there. Alright, so that'll give some good fire coverage to that area, which is probably a very good thing. So that, that'll help those guys out a little bit, it might stop some of the fires. 
Healthcare, there's seven deaths per day. But we do have increased healthcare. That's very strange. We have two clinics, but still seven deaths per day. Not exactly ideal. These guys... Yeah, that's actually expanding. Good. That is very good. The Mega Tower seems to be... Working again, which is exactly what I want it to be doing. Also, nearly at a hundred thousand people, nicely over a million, and looking pretty good actually. This city's pretty much gone exactly how I wanted it to. We have the sort of lower tier housing up this way. I mean, it's some of it's medium wealth, but most of it isn't. We have loads of nice skyscrapers down here. Sort of dotted about the place, but looking pretty good. I mean, this road here looks bloody brilliant. Look at that. How cool looking is that? I've also just noticed there's actually blades of grass. That's kind of cool. That's really good looking. So, that's... That's, that's kind of mission accomplished. That's really weird to be saying, because that sort of means that we're at the end. I suppose. I mean, almost 100,000 people will get there any second now once the Mega Towers continue growing. You know, we've got everything zoned out perfectly, and we've just passed 100,000 people. That's... that's kind of it. I'm reluctant to say that because that could dip again and we're, you know, we're not in the green. I get that, we're not in the green. But we're making so much money off of exports and processors and everything like that, I don't think we need to be in the green. We can be losing 15,000 Somalians and still making a profit. We have over 100,000 people living in this city. Traffic is a nightmare. The maglev system looks very silly. But... That... is Tapir Valley. And that's kind of it. That's our entire region. Fully populated. We could totally get great work systems in here and, you know, go for a spaceport here and an arcology over here or something. In fact, we have the choice of space center, international airport, arcology. That is an arcology, right? Yep. Or a solar farm. Actually, none of these are approved just yet. You know what? I'm going to spend a million simoleons and build, start building the arcology. That was probably a bad idea, but, uh, sure. That could take a few minutes, they'll alert me when it's happened. Apparently I'm going bankrupt, which I, I highly doubt, considering how much we get off of our exports. But, you know what? I am going to leave it there. I am going to leave it there, and in turn, leave the series there. We are losing lots of money. But we are simultaneously making lots of money. We've got our zoning over here all nice and fancy and futuristic looking. We have our sort of more somewhat futuristic looking, but uh, very, I suppose, Judge Dredd sort of Robocop looking buildings here. This is cool. This is good. I'm happy. I think I've done a pretty good job. Very few buildings needing demolished here unless they burn down. Crime is... Awful. Healthcare, awful. Fire coverage, awful. But uh, that is life in a city that is run by me, I suppose. That's sort of been a, a given. A bit of a given across all eight cities that we built. Anyway, folks, I'm rambling. A part of me doesn't want to end this series, but part of me knows it has to. So, yes, thank you very much for watching. It's been an absolute blast to play this. This series has gone so much better and people have enjoyed it so much more than I thought they would. Like I said at the beginning, if there's another expansion, I will definitely play this again. I'm considering a multiplayer series sometime in the future. That would be in the new year, though. It won't be any time this year. The Sims 4 has been running for a while. Uh, go check it out if you're interested and still need your Sims fix. But other than that, then, uh, yeah, that's it. Thank you very much for watching. This has been an absolute blast. I really do appreciate it. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.